Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on how to find percent of increase and percent of decrease. So your objectives today are that you, the student, will find percents of increase and percents of decrease. So what I want you thinking about today as we go through the lesson is how are percent of increase and decrease related and how are they different? So if you can think about that, then you won't make a mistake of identifying which is which, right? So we want to make sure that we're identifying whether or not it's an increase or a decrease. So let's talk about percent, about percent of change. Percent of change is a comparison. We're comparing a new amount to an old amount. So just as the word says change, it means something has changed. So when something changes, you have something new and something old. Percent of change is either an increase or a decrease. And percent of change is represented with a percent and a quantity that a quantity changes. So you're saying it's increased by 5% or decreased by 5%. So percent of change is equal to the amount that something has changed over divided by the original amount. So what was it originally? And how much did it change? And your amount of change is always going to be positive. You're going to multiply by 100 to create a percent. And then in your answer, you're going to use the word increase or decrease rather than a negative amount for a decrease. So it's important that you know that this answer always comes out as positive. You would never say negative 2%. So we're going to say decrease of 2% rather than negative. Okay, so your amount of change is always going to be positive divided by your original amount and multiply by 100 to write it as a percent. So I'm going to model an example for you. So we're going to find the percent of change and we're being asked that if it's necessary, we're going to round to the nearest tenth of a percent. So we have measurement here. We have 10 centimeters to 25 centimeters. So something, it could be measuring an animal that's growing. So let's say we have a snake. We measured it. It had was 10 centimeters. The next time we measured it, it's 25 centimeters. So the new amount, the old amount. So let's start with what we just discussed as a formula. So we're going to, we want to know the percent of change. We want to know what percent this changed by. No, this is an increase because we went from 10 to 25. So the amount of change is the first thing that we want to identify. And that amount of change, we're going to subtract. So 25 subtract 10. So remember, it, you can do 10 subtract 25, but you're going to get a negative number. And remember, we don't want that. So just know that we need a positive amount in our numerator. And our denominator is always the original amount. So originally, whatever this was that went from 10 centimeters to 25 centimeters, it started at 10. And don't forget, we're going to multiply by 100 because we want to answer as a percent. So the difference between 25 and 10 is 15. And we're going to divide by 10. When we divide by 10, 15 divided by 10 is 1.5. Multiply by 100, or, that, or move the decimal point two spaces to the right, that's a 150% increase. So the old amount of 10, new amount, 25 centimeters, that's a 150% increase. Okay, which makes sense. Think about it. 100% of 10 is 10. 50% of 10 is 15. It increased, or is 5, sorry. Together it's 15. It increased by 15, 150%. And don't forget, we're going to always label it with increase or decrease. Okay, your turn. I'll give you the formula, and I would like you to pause the video, calculate the percent of change, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So the first thing we want to do is identify our difference, which is 65 subtract 57 all over our original amount. And we're going to multiply by 100 to write as a percent. So 65 subtract 57 is 8 divided by the original amount of 57 is 0 0.140 multiplied by 100 and we get 14% increase. 
Don't forget, it went from 57 to 65. So let's say your class increases by these eight students. It increased by 14%. All right, let's look at finding a percent of decrease. So we went from 50 pounds to 35 pounds. So let's think about maybe a dog losing weight. So the difference of the change, the amount of change is 50 subtract 35. The original amount was 50. And don't forget, we're going to write it as a percent. The difference between 50 and 35 is 15 over my original amount of 50. 0 0.3 multiply by 100 and I get 30%. This was a decrease. I decreased 15 pounds, which is a 30% decrease. So if this dog, if it was a dog, lost weight, we would say it lost 30% of its original weight. Your turn. Talking about temperature here. Go ahead and find the percent of change. Hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So the first thing we're going to do is identify the amount of change, 672 subtract 63, all over the original amount of 72, and we want to answer as a percent. 72 subtract 63 is 9, divided by the original amount, 0 0.125 multiplied by 100, gives me a 12.5% decrease. So if the temperature drops from 72 degrees to 63 degrees, that's a 12.5% decrease. Okay, you're going to buy a bike. I'd like you to read through this problem, try to find the percent of change, hit play when you're ready to check your work. Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So the bike you would like to purchase costs $270. It's now on sale for $189. Let's find the percent of change. So the amount that's different is 270 subtract 189 to find how much it went down by. The original amount was 270, so it dropped $81. 81 divided by 270 is 0 0.3. Written as a percent, it's a 30% decrease. So we could also say that the bike went on sale for 30% off. They decreased the price by 30%. Okay, let's talk about a sweatshirt. There's a st store owner here. So I'd like you to read through the problem, find the percent of change. So go ahead and pause and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So 35 subtract 10. So they're going to sell them for 35. They paid 10. So 35 subtract 10 is going to give me a difference of 25. Now the original amount was 10. The store owner bought the sweatshirt for $10. Then they turned around and put them in their store and sold them to customers for $35 each. So the amount, the difference between those is 25. The original amount paid was 10. 25 divided by 10 is 2.5 written as a percent is 250% and it's an increase. The store owner increased the price. So think about that. We call this markup. We'll do more with this in a future video. But the store owner increased the price by 250%. Remember, let's make it relevant. $10, 100% of $10 is $10. So think about that. 250% is a whole 10, another whole 10, and another half. Makes sense, $25. So the store owner has a markup here of 250%. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot about finding percent of increase and percent of decrease. Please give me a thumbs up and sub subscribe to my channel and come back for future videos. Have a great day.